Hello, praise Jesus. How are you doing? How are you faring on? How is your spiritual work? How is your fellowship with the Holy Spirit? How are you maintaining that constant fellowship with the Holy Spirit? You can reply that in the comment section and I will be so glad to read them. I am personally doing well. Uh, the Lord has been so faithful to me. He has been good to me. His grace has been sufficient. In my weaknesses, his power has been made perfect and I am so grateful to him. So uh, welcome to another episode if you are new here in this channel. My name is Tusabe. In this channel, we discuss about the word of God, prayers, faith and ministry. And uh, for them that keep coming back, may the Lord bless you, bless you so much. And may he fulfill his good purpose upon your lives in Jesus name. So as we had discussed uh, earlier, I will be alternating my videos and the videos concerning serving the Lord as a university student, uh, specifically to encourage the young people to serve the Lord. Yes, uh, when I'm done with the series, I will tell you, but uh, we are not done yet. And so today I bring to you another video concerning how university students serve the Lord. I visited JQuart Christian Union ushering ministry. It is a ministry under the JQuart CU. They are, of course, involved in doing the ushering duties. And uh, they shared with me their experiences in serving the Lord in the university and uh, maybe under the ushering ministry. And uh, just to remind you, the purpose of this series is to encourage the young people to serve the Lord, is to encourage them that are in campus and are not believers to challenge and to encourage them that they are actually people that serve the Lord. They can go and join them and there they will get spiritual nourishment, they will get the fellowship of brethren, and they will grow together. This is also to encourage the teenagers uh, that are yet to join campus, that they can have somewhere to join in. They can have a fellowship of brethren when they come to campus. So it is to, is to make them focus on that. And also uh, to the parents too, to show them that their children can actually be believers in the university and to challenge even all the youths, yeah, all the youths of any age to serve the Lord in their youths. Because there's a lot of time with you, there's a lot of time to serve the Lord. I hope this encourages you, challenges you, and uh, yeah, may the Lord bless you. So I will show you uh, the first part, I, I, I joined them for their Bible studies. So they have Bible studies, they have prayers. I joined them for their Bible studies. And uh, after that, they were to arrange seats, but I'm sorry, it was too late and it was dark. I was not able to film them, film them as they arranged seats. So I had to go back another day. I found that they had already arranged the seats. So uh, I will just uh, show you the, the Bible study session. Then uh, an already arranged venue. Then um, yeah, then them speaking about their challenges, their motivations, their encouragement, and all that. We can also learn from them. May the Lord bless you even as you watch. Yes. Because when you are doing all this, 
the important that we, what they got up on them, talked about them now, the unity put together as a human, and all that also. They should give thanks. In number six, in the six, six week, then there's no one. And so this mystery is Christ. Christ is now being fulfilled, I think, to kill the Lord, to say, welcome back. This is what we give us. Uh, there's a reason why uh, Paul will mention uh, he goes in this street. Again, the, the word is to reach all riches of full assurance of understanding which leads to the knowledge of God's mystery, Jesus Christ. Full assurance, the word is full uh, assurance of understanding. We, we only have this assurance of understanding uh, which leads to God's mystery, Jesus Christ. And all these are being found in Christ. These are the wealth of uh, understanding of all the wisdom after finding in Christ. That was just a bit of their Bible study session. And what you are seeing right now is an arranged venue for the Sunday service. As I had told you earlier, I was not able to film as they are arranging the venue. The next session, I will be interacting with some of the ushering members as they tell us their view on serving the Lord as university students, their motivation and their challenges too. Let's go. Hello. What's your name? My name is Stephen Oguilo. Yes, I'm a member of Ushering Ministry. I, I understand that you you are the leader of the Ushering Ministry, right? Yes. So tell us what, what is Ushering Ministry? What what does it entail? What are you involved in under the Jacob Christian Union? Yes, Ushering Ministry. Is one of ministries under the Quad Christian Union. Mm -hmm. Our activities involves, but not limited to, arranging venues yeah. before and after services. Oh, wow. that, that's good. So uh, when you say arranging venue, you mean the seats and uh, the tables that will be used, right? Yes, it means the seats, the tables, and. Uh, of course, we collect offerings. Yeah. Oh, okay. You are the ones that are in charge of, uh, in this day, counting the offerings, right? Yes. Okay. So, uh, how has it been uh, as being the leader of the Ashari ministry? Yes, it has been good. Uh -huh. Yeah. But all is, uh, we glorify the, we glorify the Lord yeah. for all this. Yes. Though it is not smooth, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is work of God. So yeah. it's God who take us through. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, Uguilo. May the Lord bless you. Welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. About you? So what's your name? My name is Johnson Moema. Uh -huh. Yeah, member of the Asherin Ministry in Jake Watt CU. Great. Which year are you in? I'm currently studying 3.2. Uh -huh. Yeah. Have been an usher from first year to third year. No, I joined an usher in uh -huh. while in uh, three point one. Oh. That is last year. Oh, last year. Yeah. Okay. So, so why why did you choose usher in over the other ministries? Because I I understand there are a lot of ministries and I do you. Why did you choose usher in? Uh, yes, there are many ministries in Jacob to you, but the main thing that attracted me to usher in is the fact that there is orderness. So. I like people being orderly oh, while serving God. Wow. Yeah. That, that's, that's a good motivation. Uh -huh. so God bless you, Wema. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I know that serving the Lord is not in vain. All right, thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Gordon Ocheng. Okay. So you are also a member of Ashadi Ministry? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So how has it been to serve in the Ashadi Ministry? It has been good. It has been really encouraging to serve God, uh -huh. especially in nurturing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've enjoyed and I've been blessed doing what that exactly work. What exactly have you enjoyed in nurturing? Is it the fellowship of brethren? 
you know mostly in nurturing you don't you don't fellowship like others you have to be in standard you have to watch people so uh, i can say serving that joy of serving is what i've, I've enjoyed most Gordon, yes. as, as a university student, yeah. what are some of the challenges that you have undergone in, in being a Christian under the university environment? Especially when it comes to ushering docket, yeah. there we are. Uh, it has been really difficult to balance time because most most of the CU activities uh, happens and do need ushers to come in, in almost all of them. So that time management has been a major problem and a major challenge that we have faced. So balancing of time. Yeah. What what have you done to kind of manage that? Because you know you are a student at the same time. Yes. So what, have you tried to maybe squeeze your time, sleep late, so that you can recover the time that you were in in, in service, maybe during the fellowships, or what exactly have you done? Yeah, actually I've set a timetable and I always sacrifice my nights to make sure that uh, uh, that I spend well the night time mm -hmm. uh, to recover for those times that I lost during the day or when serving. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, be encouraged. You actually didn't lose that time, but yeah. it's an investment in the kingdom of God. Okay. Okay. God bless you, God. Uh, amen. Thank you. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? I'm Jennifer Atieno. understand that you are also a leader in the Ashari ministry, right? Yes. So you, you, who, you, you serve as the mom, they call you mom, right? Yeah. Um, so tell us, what um, what are some of the activities that you do in the, in the, in the Ashari ministry? Like, do you just, are you just involved in uh, arranging the seats, then you're working that, or uh, what other activities are you engaged in? Okay, in addition to arranging the seats, okay, we, we are also in charge of uh, arranging the, the pastor's desk and putting it in order, sanitizing members. Uh, we, also, we also do have activities like social retreats, bondings. So, uh, social retreats, uh, uh, what do you mean by social retreats? Okay, by social retreat, I mean, we, we go out as a family and then uh, we have interactive sections among ourselves. Yeah which will make us bond and at the same time know more about each other. Oh, that, and, uh, you have, like, prayers, yes, we do have prayers on Saturdays from 4.40 uh, to 6.30. And then we have, uh, we have our prayers on Wednesday, uh, af before every service, I mean. So how many services do you have in the CU? In the CU, we have like four. One on Wednesday, then three on Sundays. So, uh, concerning your three services on Sunday, do you do you serve in all the three uh, services, or are you? Uh, are you what do you do? No, we we've been divided into families. So we have the first service, uh, we, which are referred to as love. Then we have second hope, then third faith. So so we are, yeah, we serve as part the families. first year uh, who has joined uh, who has just joined university and the things that uh, university students don't serve the Lord or any other person out there who thinks that uh, there are no university students who serve the Lord personally as you guys do how will you tell them or how will you encourage especially a first year okay for a first year <coughs> I think I would I would just advise them to to align themselves with the right groups because your company, just as the Bible will say, that bad company will ruin good morals. So you might have come to the university with good morals, but then if you don't have the right company, then at the end of the day, you'll end up ruining yourself. So when you get the right company, which will lead you to Christ, then at the end of the day, yes, you'll, you'll make a good use of your life in the university. Oh, that's great. So what's your parting shot? Uh, my parting shot is that uh, service to God is is great, is and we fun? yeah, it is really fun. It's really fun, more than we ever imagined, and uh, and uh, everyone is encouraged to serve God. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Ashering. <laughs> okay.